Hello and happy Friday. Did you even remember it's Friday? Thanks for joining us today at Optimum's Marketing Amid Corona, a great place to spend 15 or so minutes about what's been going on in marketing amid the virus outbreak. Today we have a blog review on how a well-known brand messed up with its ads, a weekly news roundup, but before all of that, here are a few picks of my own. And today I have three reads for you, this time looking at the day after. Let's start with this Forbes article providing tips from industry veterans. Um, first tip, stay positive, okay? Everybody's faced a tough time, probably the toughest they've ever faced, but nobody needs to be reminded of it. Uh, makes perfect sense. Employees come first. They are the blood vessel of the business, blood pump. Accurately assess finances. Make sure that you prioritize and remember that cash is king. Finding new ways to do the same old things. Creativity is king, remember? Communicate with empathy and humor. We all know that hard sell uh, messaging doesn't work these days. And this goes on. I'll share the full article. Some very interesting and useful tips here. Our, my second share of the day, um, Women's Wear Daily. Anthony Kerbus, CEO of retail consult consultancy HRC Advisory, um, is looking at the day after and providing some useful advice. Scrolling down... Um, Anthony thinks that a digital shift will see acceleration. I believe the pandemic will accelerate the trajectory of the digital growth, returning us back to the 30 plus percent growth rate when digital channels first emerged. Um, scrolling on to Anthony's tips. Um, being proactive will help retailers mitigate the new landscape. Um, closely manage cash flow. Cash is king. Rings a bell. Maintain regular communications with your staff and outside stakeholders. Carefully manage your inventory risk. Reprioritize capital spending into essential initiatives to keep the lights on. Strengthen your e-commerce and retail fulfillment capabilities. And the full advice on this uh, article on WWD will share the link in the comments. Last share, um, some tips from retail customers' experience for how bricks and mortar, um, brick and mortar, sorry, should adapt an online approach. Local inventory ads, click and collect, Google My Business listings, Google shopping actions, in-store returns for online orders, in-store promotions for newsletter subscribers, social media engagement. This could be very basic for... Um, for online retailers, but for brick and mortars, these are great tips on how to do the first step. I hope that at this point you're all planning your exit strategies and that my shares today provided some value. Danny from our product marketing team was supposed to be in Thailand on an island these days. Something ruined her plans. However, the well-known site she booked her trip from forgot there's a global crisis happening these days. So Danny decided to blog about it and about how marketers must be sensitive these days. Danny, I hope you're not too bummed to be at home and not on a, on a beach in Thailand. What do you have for us? Thanks, Amit, and hello, guys. Um, do you see my background? This is where I was supposed to be right now, sipping my cocktails and having some chill time in Thailand. But the trip that I've been uh, planning for months had to be canceled due to COVID-19. Um, as a product marketer, I always try to learn from any interaction I have with a company and notice the flows that I go through as a user and the messages I receive along the way. So um, as I was going through the cancellation process of my vacation, I realized that Booking.com had made some mistakes in their orchestration that I think you can learn from. And uh, this is what my blog post is all about. Uh, so I'm gonna share my screen with you guys. Um, this is the blog post. And um, while in terms of customer support, I would give booking.com an A for being amazingly responsive and refunding all of the non-refundable hotels that I carelessly uh, booked, when it comes to orchestration, they disappointed. So um, orchestration is the process of ensuring all cross-channel, multi-step communications with customers are in sync and uh, providing customers with a holistic experience. 
Um, after canceling my hotels, I started receiving messages on a daily, on a weekly basis, sorry, with various offers and information regarding my trip. Now, if it was not canceled, I would say the experience is flawless and super relevant, but booking.com did not take into account my booking status. Mm -hmm. um, leading to not only irrelevant messaging, but actually to a negative experience. I was constantly reminded of the fact that I should have been in Thailand. Um, here's an example of a message that I received on the morning of what was supposed to be the fifth day uh, in Thailand. Lucky day that I have such a cute dog and he managed to relax me uh, while reading this notification. I mean, seriously, I already canceled all of my hotels, not one, not two, but five. Uh, this is something that marketers can and should avoid at any cost. Uh, while the amazing customer support succeeded in making this experience relatively tolerable, the lesson is that you must make sure your orchestration is constantly in sync uh, with customer behavior, especially these days. So you can find uh, this blog post and another blog post that I wrote uh, for e-commerce businesses in uh, Optimove blog. And uh, we upload content to the blog and post funnel every day. So do yourself a favor and go visit both. There are a ton of great tips there. Uh, back to you, Amit. Thank you. Marketers, be sensitive, always. And now more than ever. Now to the one and only, Nitsan P, Post Funnels editor in chief, with a roundup of this week's news. It's a Friday, Nitsan. What do you have for us? Hi, Amit. Thanks again. And today, in the background, some Frozen 2 sounds. Uh, maybe you've heard them before. Not my fault. Anyway, it's Friday. So here's a short roundup of the most important things we published the past week. If you got some time to read it during the weekend, April 12th. Um, we published another update on what the data tells us about trends in gaming. In short, we see that new players acquired during this crazy period are still worth more in terms of lifetime value than new players acquired during other times. Find this blog with some action items included. Of course, um, we are science first, but not completely academic. April 13th, in case you missed it, the do's and don'ts of recession marketing, yep, it's a thing and you start, need to start mastering it. Um, a personal additional tip for me, talk to people who were there in similar positions just 12 years ago. Still on the same day, in case you missed it, uh, we introduced the loyalty series. If you or your boss think loyalty and retention are kind of the same, and that's at least what Google thinks, then this one is for you. Still on April 13th, th we talked about the reminders our product marketing manager was getting for her long canceled trip and why she was still somewhat forgiving towards this orchestration blunder. April 14th, in case you missed it, we showed um, how the North Face is doing everything right right now, but still lacking the flair a brand with similar outdoorsy values like Jeep is showing with the coronavirus times explore the great indoors campaign. See how these objects um, are reminiscent of the classic Jeep front grill? There you go. Kind of brilliant. April 15th, in case you missed it, we dove into the impact of COVID-19 on influencer marketing. If you are doing influencer marketing, you need to read this. And finally, yesterday, in case you missed it, two pieces. What does transparent marketing look like in 2020? Transparency is a value that must be embraced by everyone across the board in the post-COVID-19 era. And speaking of the post-COVID-19 era, one last uh, piece for now. Um, a bit optimistic look at the day after the crisis with four steps you need to start preparing for right now, not including crossing your fingers, which is also important. That's it. Have a great weekend. And we're done. I hope you all have a great calm weekend. If you're looking for something to do, you can always watch an archive of all of our broadcasts at optimove.com slash marketing amid corona. Genuinely, I hope you have better plans than that. 
We'll be here again next week, Monday, 11 a.m. Eastern. And before you go, I'll leave you with this. Again, Bored Panda, 30 things people found in their houses while quarantining, uh, while, while quarantine cleaning and decided to share online. Zelda Williams, isolating spring deep cleaning is turning up some fun gems. Look at him. Quarantine cleaning and found these jeans and my mom painted me when I was 18 from the cover of my then favorite Johnny Mitchell album. I wouldn't wear those. My wife found a small fortune in the basement today. We donated them to our local hospital. And this goes on and on. The Queen of England found the newspaper that announced Elizabeth as queen. I'll share a link to this. Maybe this would be worth uh, browsing during your weekend. Have a great weekend. Keep safe. We'll be here again, as I mentioned, next week. Peace out.